Hello guys, this is Dolly Truck. Today, I finally decided I'm going to install insulation on my walls. Uh, only to the walls on the center block side here. Uh, not the one at the bathroom wall or any wall inside the uh, the basement. I will, uh, I will leave them as is, but on the center block here, I'm going to put insulation on here. And I'm gonna have to remove some of the OBC board up here and put insulation all the way on the corners up there. Uh, I figure it will be uh, much better uh, for me in the long run because uh, during the winter season, everything down here is cold. Even if the water, the tap water down here is like freezing ice so I want to get at least this room's uh, insulated so here we go okay I got uh the corner plywood's all taken back out, except this large one, which I think I could squeeze the insulation into that little hole right here. Let's see, right here. Oh, right there. And I got enough uh, space down there, so I put insulation up there. I believe, uh, 70 or 80 percent of the corners are coming from those uh corners up there all these corners up here but it isn't that bad compared to other houses it's all sealed tight uh but i just want to do it because uh, i don't want to tear everything back out again it's all nice and solid. It, it doesn't go in there. This this side actually goes to the porch, and this side over here actually goes outside, which isn't bad. Also, it's it's the same as the one that goes outside the porch. It's all pretty good, uh, solid seal with the two by ten up there. But I'm, I just want to put insulation just in case Well, you never know what you find when you rip your walls apart. This is the stupid mouse. I'm not sure what this is. It's a mouse. It's either a mouse or a rat or uh, yeah, what whatever. Is it? But it's huge. It's probably trapping here for the longest time. <laughs> Daddy, what is it? Oh, what's up, Kaska? Daddy, take a shot. And this is the wall of my bathroom. From the window there. So I'm gonna have to get rid of this rat or whatever. It's a huge rat though. It's so cute. It's probably not a squirrel. It might be a squirrel. It's a how could a squirrel get in here? That weird. Alright. Before I could put the walls in, I had to uh, do a little preparations. Uh, I had to install 
uh, power outlets and wired it all the way through over here and also this side here too I removed the one of those uh, thin plywood it's kind of like a paper plywood I took it all off and rewired all those uh, electrical harness in there and also install two uh, power outlets up here too so I got this right down to the bare bone uh, 2 by 4 and then now I took the plywood on this bench off because I need more room so I had to trim uh, the plywood the plywood like one half inch to one inch from each corner here from the side here to here I'm gonna have to trim one inch from this side and one inch from that side probably a half inch on both sides each and then after that I'll install the plywood on Okay, today I finally got this side done only. Still got a little bit right here to do, probably tomorrow. I'm so busy nowadays that I got only little by little finish each time. Got the outlets in, installed, tested, and works great. Since this is going to be my fish room, I'm putting those uh, CFS uh, outlet plugs in it. And got those two up there installed as well. Now I did see a problem here. Because I'm going to put a, like a wall right here, it's going to be uh, the 2x4 wall is going to surpass the the outlets here so I'm probably gonna have to relocate this outlet to right here somewhere there's a stud here somewhere yeah right here where I line this little screws here so there's a stud here so I will probably relocate that to here and then I'm gonna have to uh, plug this Part. But I'm gonna have to eventually take uh, the whole plywood off, or I could just drill the hole right through the stud here, make it easier. But um, I'm trying to make it uh, nice and neat, so I probably could just take the plywood off. It's just screws in there; it's not nail or anything, so I could just easily. Uh, unscrew these hello guys this is Dolly truck uh, today me and my daughter were uh, remodeling the basement again uh, we're fixing the uh, our two. fish room one, say hi Casca hi one two buckle my shoes five six ninety six okay let's get going okay I caught this uh, problem yesterday this outlet right here is gonna, when I put my wall here, it's gonna be like that. So it's gonna totally block my outlet. So what I plan to do here is, what the? I'm gonna take this plywood OBC board you out. Done? Not yet, I got. I done? Yep, and then I'm gonna patch this hole from the inside out to flush and I'm gonna move this one to this 2x4 stud right behind this uh, side here so I got it off again then I'm gonna remove this one here and relocate over here 
then I plan to uh, patch this hole up. Okay, got a mount it on this side now. I gotta flip the recept uh, the CFS upside down. Okay. Daddy, why did you close the door? Oh, I closed it because I didn't want the fly to uh, go in there. I saw it, I saw the fly go in, and you didn't. Get it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I saw you. Oh. And I saw you do it. Hey, flip it upside down. Oh. Yes, This is the closest that I could get. This is just a patch repair. 
then I'm gonna put a, like, uh, another sheet in the back and uh, nail it down. It's best if I use glue if I could find my my wood glue. If not, then I'm just probably gonna use screws. Okay, this is just like an ordinary uh, sheet rocks patch repair. Put a little piece of uh, OBC board in the back here. This is the back side. Then I'm gonna secure this little piece of uh, board back in here. That way the patch will be uh, secure nice and strong. Then I flip it around and do the same thing on this side here. Perfection, uh, I'm not looking for perfection here. This is just an OBC board and these are the only screws I got. So, it really doesn't matter. Because, like I said, Time isn't on my side right now. I gotta get this uh, fish room done. So here's a patch. I cut this little piece off like this for the two by four framing down the bottom basement, my basement. And what happens is that this piece right here will support this little uh, plate right here like that. And then all I have to do is secure the uh, screw here and tooth here. And that should be it. Like I said, perfection isn't what I'm looking for right now. All I need to do is get this room done and uh, that way I can start uh, putting all my filtration for my fish uh, system down there. Okay, now I'm gonna put this wall here. I marked it this one with an X because it's gonna face toward the cement block, the center block, I mean. That's it, that's the closest uh, I could get. And then when that two by four wall is gonna be on here, it's gonna be like that. And a sheet of half inch uh, OBC board is gonna be right here, so you barely can't see that. Uh, yeah, you barely can't see that line. So it's really not about perfection. It's about because I don't have time. Time is on my side. Like I said, gotta get my fish room done because uh, I got my fish, my. Uh, Breeding tilapia fish is, I don't know when they're gonna uh, start to ship out yet, but I gotta get it all done before the, that set of fish uh, come. Now I gotta I got this line as flush as possible, so you can't you can't barely see it. And it's not it's not about perfection. It's a it's a fish room. So perfection, uh, I'm not looking for perfection in a fish room.
I'll leave that. There's it's, it's no point of putting a screw here. The two by four wall is gonna block anyway. There you go. So you got that transfer to right here. That's all I really need. I also found out that I got this bowl right here. Uh, installed a little bit too long. I went to all the way over here where the trim sits at. So I had to take this bolt back out and cut it like four inches, no, two inches off from here to here. That way in the, in the future when I'm getting this room all done, I'll uh, install a trim here. So my next step is, uh, cut the uh, OBC board to fit up there. Okay, so today I got only this far. I cut the little board OBC right out top of the door there. And got this all taken care of. Uh, about the imperfection on the uh, outlets there, I'm just gonna have to go to Menards and buy a bigger uh, plate cover. And this one's all done. So, uh, I'm gonna have to do the wall on this side tomorrow if I have time. And then uh, this long wall here, and that'll be it. And uh, after everything's done, I'm gonna have to uh, build a, a wall to. Uh, block this one to make an actual room I'm still debating about uh, doing the bathroom all the way over here I mean the wall Daddy. but I might I, I, yeah, I might just do it from this wall corner right here for all the way to this one right here hello guys this is Dolly truck Today I'm installing walls on my center block side. I got the frame all cut and uh, put to places. But I haven't uh, bolted down yet. Uh, I still gotta put a vapor bearing from the back of my wall before I uh, actually bolt it down. Simply because uh, this corner right here, it's it's somewhat moisture. Uh, I don't want any water or any moisture coming from outside and getting my insulations all wet and then it accumulate molds and stuff. So I'm gonna put a, a vapor bearing between my, uh, my backside walls. And after that, I'll bolt it down this green tree lumber down there. And then I'm gonna uh, screw down the top portion here to the ceiling. I didn't have time to take pictures of cutting all these woods and putting them into place like this because 
it will take too much time and I will never get my fish room completed so I'm I'm trying to finish it quick okay the next step is to put a, a vapor bearing uh, plastic sheet behind this wall here before I bolt it down okay I finally got this uh, wall uh, the vapor bearing uh, installed in the back and I actually uh, bolted it down up in the ceiling and I also screwed it down to the cement block uh, cement floor down the bottom here I used four of them so there's four screws secure in the green tree 2x4 and there's two, four, six six screw uh six uh nails to secure that this piece here there's nothing to secure in this top here so it's kind of wobble so the whole structure for this little uh short one here is secured by this little this two by four right here and it's all bolted down with with this one here so little by little I'm getting there my most concern is this wall right here this corner right here with all these uh, moisture uh, marks that are here Ever since I moved in, I don't see any more moisture, but uh, I just want to be cautious. That's why I installed this vapor bearing. Sh so my uh, my insulation doesn't get wet. Okay, to support this uh, side that doesn't have nail, this is what I came up with. Got this piece from work. Uh, they just toss all these away, so I grab a few of them, like five or four of them. So it's it works it works out great. I bolt it down to the center block, and I screw it down to the two by four up for here. I wanted to do it on the top here. But my my landing of these two bolts here would be on right under the center groove here on this piece right here. So I do it's not going to be a stronghold. So that's why I face it uh, sideways like this. But either way, it's it's uh, it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, my idea is to bolt this uh, frame down and to make it as heavy duty as possible because I do plan to make shelves uh, on the wall here for uh, my future uh, fish tanks too. So that's why everything has to be bolted down nice and solid. I love it. Okay, this is, I have no choice but to uh, install it this way my room here my fish room here is so small uh, the, this is the only way to install uh, this uh, frame wall on this side over here
Okay, I finally got the uh, wall frame all nailed down. I'm gonna start uh, screwing down the green tree to the concrete and then I'm gonna start some special uh, place to secure the 2x4s on the top of the ceiling because there's no 2x4 up there. I'm gonna start some of these brackets to secure that uh, top 2x4 on the ceiling. Okay, I installed only four screw hold down for the eight foot two by four. That should be good enough. Okay, I'm gonna pre drill these plates. So I made three holes here for the screws. I got all the plates drilled, three holes per plates. Okay, I got four of these plates uh, screwed down on the two, on to the two by four up in the ceiling here. There's four of them. Cause I want a heavy duty in. I installed four of them. And then I'm gonna install uh, some nut hold on these plates here. Now the sheer weight, the sheer of these uh, screws are uh, very strong and you don't need uh, to install too many of those screws. Three should be enough. Technically two should be enough, but I was just wanna put three up there. Three put plates.
isn't looking.
Last one. There should be enough of this shit one here. Wasn't deep enough. There, that should be good enough.
one thing I forgot to uh, mention uh, I'm using these one quarter inch uh, by two and a half inch uh, anchor bolt mount now these are uh, you have to drill really straight I made two error I didn't drill straight enough and they didn't locked so I had to uh, remove the plate and drill new holes for it so these you have to drill the hole really perfectly straight uh, to a quarter inch Okay, I got my wall frames all installed and ready for insulations. All these 2x4s uh, beams are 16, 16 inch apart. That way they'll fit, the plywood will fit in there perfectly side by side to each other the reason why these brackets are installed up there to hold the 2x4 because above that 2x4 uh, it's only the OSB plywood there's no 2x4 on top of that so I have to do this way. The wall must be installed, and this is the only way to do it. Okay, this is one last look before the installation install.
my ceiling isn't that high. It's uh, seven feet high. Only it's not, it's not eight feet. All right, this will be the last time I ever see this wall naked like this.
Okay, I finally got my insulation installed all complete, all stapled. Uh, my next procedure is to cut the uh, OSB plywood and put in and uh, install them in there. This is the insulation that I'm using. It's R11. It's one of the cheapest uh, insulation I could find at Menards. It takes a lot of screws for just one plywood. So I go like six six inch from the edge. Every six inch I put a, a screw in there. And from the center, every 12 or, 15, or 15 inch, I put a screw there. Okay, I just got done installing insulations and all the frames, uh, cutting all the OSB boards. Uh, so everything is all set up. Uh, there's one more thing that I need to do. Uh, I need to go to Menards and buy uh, some trims now. It's not gonna be uh, any fancy trim. It's just gonna be a one by four or one by six pine like, like this one right here and then I'm gonna uh, install it all the on the bottom of my uh, ground here and plus uh, on, on the crown up here too yeah I'm gonna install as a crown up here too that way it looks kind of a little bit decent and after all the work that I put in there it, it has to look at least good there's a lot of uh, screws on these OB's uh, OSB plywoods uh, I don't really mind about it showing too much like this I didn't want to put uh, those those sheetrock screws in there where it goes all the way in there. Uh, I don't know if that, that's a strong secure or I think these are much better screw for it. Now I'm gonna cover uh, the top portion here like last time I did. This fish room's not gonna be that big later uh a couple of weeks from now i'm gonna install like a wall from this corner right here all the way to this corner right over here right about where it's actually land right here because i didn't want to move this here so if you look at this way, it's going to be a small room. But like I said, this is just my small hobby. Uh, 
but it doesn't matter how small it is, it costs too much money. I still got two or three more uh, OSB 4x8 uh, plywood. Uh, I'm gonna continue this one here tomorrow. I start from 6 a.m. and ending at 6 p.m. So this is a 12 hour job here. I mean, there's a lot of cleaning, moving stuff around, measurements. Yeah, it takes 12 hours. I had to flip my uh, deck table here sideways like this just so I can finish all the uh, OSB wall. If you're going to do a project like this, uh, I would just recommend order online. I got this set from Amazon, so like $32. It's 500 screws. Uh, it's better than buying at Menards where you get like 150, 150 for like $32. This one here, you got 500 for $32. So 